These are the Kerbeck kids. They're the mini reporters, okay? So, you know, I never want our kids to get lost in the shuffle. You know, I'm uh, a little speechless right now. And, you know, um, I'm really thinking about Creighton uh, with respect to losing who I think will probably be the rookie of the year in Nemhard. So I'm definitely thinking about him. Um, what an environment to come into. Uh, definitely, you know, played an NCAA team. And they caught us on a good day. You know, it's senior night. There was a lot of emotion. Uh, once again, I don't know if there's a better college basketball atmosphere in America that I went through the last eight or nine home games. It's a credit to our marketing staff, our ticketing staff. Uh, our, our students are unbelievable. The fans have been unbelievable. I mean, I've coached now 28 years. I've been in a lot of different buildings. I don't think there's a close one to what we just went, what we just saw over the last month in this building. It just got better and better. And the reason why I have AJ and Nate here is we all started, right? Nate five years ago, AJ four years ago. And we always had dreams of possibilities, right? And as you're recruiting, you want to compete for championships. You want young men that have your values and believe in what you want to believe in through the ups and downs. You know, today is the highest of highs with respect to where we're trying to go. We have a lot to play for. You know, we still have a tough game on Tuesday going into Villanova. But I want our young men and these two men here to just breathe, appreciate the day, appreciate the moment. I never thought in a million years uh, coming from Providence that I can be on that floor what I just went through. Being a kid from Central High School and Roger Williams Middle School and Sackett Elementary School, some one, two, three miles away, I mean, that's just an unbelievable dream that I still think I'm dreaming. And I can't be grateful and thankful to Bob Driscoll. I can't be grateful to that dude enough. He changed my life and I'm grateful for it. And this is not about our team. This is about his retirement. And I'm just glad to be his friend, not so much somebody who works for him. This game was, this game was over when the ball went up. The emotion, the energy in the building, I think everything was divine providence that we won today. And this isn't a win for our program. This is a win for our city. This is a win for our state. And, you know, we have still a lot to play for, but we're going to enjoy this today. And I just want to say thank you to AJ and Nate, as they were the ones that hung in there and dealt with the ups and downs. But we have way more ups than downs. So many times people want to look at the negative things when you didn't win and losing here and bad coaching here and missed shots there. It all comes to a day like this where it all comes together. And again, I'm just so, so grateful. And you had two chances to win the Big East regular season title, but to do it tonight in front of a home crowd, can you just speak to the significance of that and how important it was to get it done in front of your home crowd tonight? And you want to do that. I mean, if you had the opportunity, right, um, where these are the people that have supported you through the thick and thin, uh, you know, having Father Sicard in the building and, and letting him feel that as the president, the AD, the new AD, um, our, our, our families, our supporters. I mean, it's it's home. It's 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 family. Like it's a true Friar family, and to have that on our home court is 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 just. I don't know if you can write a book about it. I really don't. Hey, Neil, what can I do tonight? Coaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we just um. Can y'all hear me? Y'all can hear me? Uh, we just wanted to come out and complete the mission. We talked about this. This was a goal of ours from the very beginning when everybody assembled in the summertime. We knew we had something special, and we just knew that if we came to play and fought hard the whole time, we could we could really do something and something like this. And um, it was just a credit to everything that went into the, that goes into the program. My teammates, you know, the coaching staff just believing in me. And gave me the rock, and um, the plays were awesome. They gave me open. We run a lot of good sets. We dummy a lot, go over a lot of plays. So they're not gonna know the term dummy. Yeah, I, we go over plays a lot in practice. So, um, now the shots are just falling tonight, and I'm I'm just grateful. Hey, that's the most plays you had since your first game here. How many he have? I have. Seven. Thanks for the stat sheet, though. I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you say the first one and last one here. Let's go. Hey, that that's – I tried to get eight. I did. I tried to get eight. But, no, going out like I came in, 
you can't really write a better story than that. And um, just ending up on top. This, this is why I came to Providence. I knew that, you know, watching them, I knew we, we could be special. I knew that my senior year in high school, watching them in the Big East Championship in um, Madison Square Garden, I'm like, wow, this is something I could be a part of. And to have to, to finally, like, you know, fulfill that is, is, is no words for real. It's just, like he says, raw emotion. It's, it's we, we've been through a lot of ups and downs. You know, we have a saying that, you know, you can't let the highs get too high and the lows get too low. You just got to live in the moment and stay the course. And I think that's what we did. Yeah, there's no doubt that college basketball is changing the transfer portal, things and transfers. To have these two men up there with you who you recruited out of high school, how much does that mean to you? Like still proving that, yes, you can build a program with high school kids. It'll get a little bit more competitive, but it's, it, it comes to trust. It comes to belief. It comes to knowing that's going to be probably more bad days than good, but the goods are great. You know, um, it's a credit to them and their loyalty, you know, because, you know, when, when when things don't go your way or you may not play as much as you want early and you, it, it's just a credit to fortitude. It's a credit to emotional and mental toughness. Um, and I wouldn't be sitting here without these guys at all, you know, from their leadership in the locker room. But and again, what many of you don't see is what they do for our college campus. You know, Nate may be the most popular person I've ever coached on a college campus. AJ's personality. Um, you just don't get that in today's kid. You know, what I mean, that want to be there, that want to that want to stay there and persevere. And, you know, it's a life lesson when you go through a tough time and you can withstand it. Something great's at the end. It may not get there quick, but do some perseverance and a little bit of luck, you know. Um, that's what these two have meant to our program. When you said last March that you were going to come back, was this one of the goals? <clears throat> this was definitely the goal. And I said I wanted to come back to win a Big East championship, and I knew it was going to be hard work, but, you know, we, we stayed with it. <clears throat> we got a couple of transfers, Al and Justin, and, and Noah coming back was all just – it was huge for us. And uh, to just win this win this uh, championship tonight, just – it was honestly amazing. It was – very emotional for me. I, I, sh I shed some tears, but you know, um, it's because all this hard work just is finally finally paid off. Uh, you know, I genuinely love being a friar. I've been here for five years. I, I love the fans. I eat breakfast with them, dinner, lunch. So it's just a different feeling for me because you know, I you know, like I said, I just oh man, I just I'm just man. I just I gotta go. Yeah, what was the best part? Hold on, get myself together. <laughs> oh, okay. Best part is just stepping on the court, just stepping on the court, playing in front of fans. My last time in here, um, just seeing everybody smile, seeing coaches smile. You know, I gave them a hug and it was just just giving them that last hug, which is very emotional because I'm never going to be here again as a as a player. So, man, I'm I'm really going to miss it. Indeed. Uh, Flyers preseason pick number seven. Uh, during the season, we're hearing about the Flyers were lucky to get the wins many of the wins they had. Were you guys playing with a chip on your shoulder? Oh, most definitely. We knew what we had in our locker room. We knew the type of talent that we had. Yeah. And like I was saying, it was a long summer. I'm, I'm grateful that we had that summer to, to, to bond and connect with each other. And, you know, every time like we, we just felt like we were doubted a lot. You know what I'm saying? We win a game. They'd be like, oh, you know, they were missing a player. They were doing – it's still hard to win a basketball game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we won how many of them? 23 of them or something 24. like that? 24. 24? Is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Is it 24? Oh, 24. Yeah. 24. Yeah, so, so 24 wins. Wow. I don't think not I really easy. want 24. Not easy. But yeah, so we just wanted to, you know, stick it to everybody. But it wasn't so much everybody else. We were just trying to prove to ourselves that, you know, we could do this. And, you know, we, we constantly told ourselves that, you know, want to know today, you know, just worry about the game at hand and the rest will just take care of itself. And Big East Conference regular season champions, that that's that's right there. You know what I'm saying? It, it's right there. What about this uh, Taylor Swift and Honestly, I, I heard of Taylor Swift. I've never heard that song in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I mean, it, it sounds nice, but, you know, it. The fact that it got our crowd energized and it got a lot of juice from it, I hope she has an opportunity to come here to see what these people do to support her music. I mean, hopefully next year she comes here and she can sing it during one of the timeouts or 
But I tell you, the kids get behind it. I mean, I've heard of Taylor Swift, but I'm 52 years old. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking for Barry White and Luther Vandross. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like Taylor Swift. I mean, my favorite song by her is called Wildest Dreams. Uh, she kind of she mentions me in the song. Just just li go listen to it. She mentions me in the song. So <laughs> that's my favorite song by her. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, she mentions me. Nice. I believe he's full. <laughs> <laughs> You just coach the game to the very end, you know. Um, you, I, you know, you do appreciate the moment, but, but when you're in the, when you're in the game, you're just trying to get to the finish line the best you can when nobody gets hurt. I thought we controlled the whole game, and you know, I mean, we're talking about a lot of different things, but the team we played has 11 Big East wins. They're a tournament team, and again, they had a brutal blow, you know. And that guy in that locker room is a very, very dear friend of mine, and you know, hopefully that they can use this game as a, as a learning experience as they have two more hard games. Uh, hard games to play of two of the better teams in our league. So um, we got to keep that in mind. The Big East is a monster. And, and as AJ said, you know, we missed a lot of guys this year, too. And to piggyback on what you said about luck, we all got to get lucky in sport. You know, you can step out of bounds. You can miss a shot. You can make a shot. We've been on the other side of not having luck. So, you know, why not the Friars? You know, I worry about what we have, not what we don't have. And you said last March that, you know, after I appreciate the question because that's something that we talked in the locker room about prior to coming here. You know, the feeling we had when we left Madison Square Garden last year, you know, we knew we had to make some adjustments. I credit our staff who, you know, I'm sitting here as the head coach, but, you know, Jeff Battle, Ivan Thomas, Brian Blaney. Kevin Kerbeck, Bob Walsh, Ladante, um, those guys are phenomenal. Those guys are great. I think we have the defensive player of the year in Manaya. I think we have the most improved player in, in maybe in the country in, in Jared Bynum. That was a lot of doubt around what we were doing in our player development, missed that in the third. I'm just proud of the perseverance and not listening to the noise of what we weren't doing versus what we were trying to go. And, and these guys are a credit to that as well. And you mentioned some of your role models and coaches um, I wonder as you've gone through this and you're now a big East championship coach, have you thought about the fact that there might be some kid out there tonight, either in Providence or on TV, watching you do this and what that means to you? Well, I hope I can be an inspiration for young men and women that, you know, aspire to get in college basketball, but more importantly, be graduates of a college. And colleges give them an opportunity as a first generation kid to go to a college and, and to be different. You know, uh, I was very different when I was on a college campus, being one of very few minorities, as many of our young men and women are that go to Providence College. Yet we're getting better with our diversity, equity and inclusion. And that's something that I'm proud of to say about Providence College. But if there's somebody in particular in our city and in our state that wants to do it, they can they can do it. You got to get a little lucky. You got to be around the right people, but you got to put yourself in the right place in order to have that chance. And don't be afraid to ask questions. That's why every young man and woman I see that's young, you, you take time for them to tell them that they can do it. And all it is is they just need a chance. And that's all I have asked. Well, just give me a chance and I'll do the best that I can. Now I sit here as a 52-year-old man from 14 Alma Street as a Big East champion. And DC's been playing basketball a long time. And there's been a lot of firsts. And this is the first. I mean, if you think about that, you kind of grew up in Brooklyn from, from Providence. Uh, the first time that... It is hard to put into words, Frank. You know, I mean, again, I've watched, you know, my, my first coach I really remember, I think was Waters, Walters. I think that was the one I remembered the most with Billy. I was a fields that played for him. I think Harold may have been on that team. Uh, then you go to, um, I think it was Mulaney, Barnes. You know, obviously, Patino, Chiesa, I went to their camps. You all in this room can't understand or can feel what I feel, given where I'm from. And I've said that many times. You have no idea. So to sit here today with these guys, graduate, is graduating, 
I did my job, not the championship. My job is to educate young men to get them to be better than they are, to have degrees, and hopefully compete for championships. So when I start thinking of all that on how education changed my life and how it's going to change their life, the wins are great. But it's going to be hard to get in places without a quality education. And I'm proud to say that Providence College gave these kids that. Walking in these streets, man, it's, it's, it's an incredible, incredible dream that there's no words to explain it. And I think of my son, I think of my wife, I think of my daughter. Because, you know, they got to deal with the tough losses. Uh, our spouses and children got to deal with it that none of you are privy to see. One more question. Hey, Coach, Coach, you more than you What was it like for you to see you cut down? Wow. You know, emotional. As I hugged them before, I'm emotional now just listening to these young men on where they were when we recruited them to how, you know, the media training came in to help them you know, on how they dress, on how they carry themselves. They've really matured and grown up. So I feel like a dad to these young men, not a coach. The coach is just a, a title. I'm proud to say I'm, 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 I'm a better person because of them and because of the stuff that I've learned from them. I don't tell them that often, but I learn a lot from what they say and what they do. Anything else? I appreciate you guys. The Providence College fires the biggest champion.